Yeah, so I started flying an Embraer 170, 175. It's about a 76 seat um, jet. Yep. You know, you'll fly them anywhere from Los Angeles to San Francisco or Los Angeles to Austin, Texas. Um, but yeah, the, you can kind of tell it apart because it's like two seats per side as you walk down the alley. Right. It's a two two. Yep. Okay. And uh, how? What was that like? Did you Did you like it? Did you love it? I enjoyed it. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was a very advanced aircraft. Yeah. It's a newer generation aircraft, maybe fifteen years old or something like that. But right. Uh, which is new in aviation. Right. Absolutely. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but it was a great airplane, great company. I flew with amazing people. Um, I enjoyed the job. I enjoyed the job. Um, financially, it's a different time now, but financially, the regionals didn't pay very well. And the you know major airlines pay more than regional airlines. It's almost like a stepping stone. Right. Um, but the industry is ruthless, and you could get stuck at a regional airline for 15, 20 years. You could retire at a regional airline because the major airlines aren't hiring, whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, I, I did some calculations, and... Um, the hard part about the regionals, you know, I would have stayed there longer if it, if it was, if I can justify it, but I would have probably made more money working full time at in and out than as an airline pilot. Flying regionals. 